The bill establishes an independent panel of three medical experts to review claims. Essentially, when a claim is filed, the process is triggered. Plaintiff and defendant jointly select a non-voting chairperson, which is an attorney, to oversee the process of selecting the experts. And then once a list of experts is compiled, the plaintiff will select one expert, the defendant will select one expert, the two experts will select a third expert, the panel proceeds to review all medically relevant material and renders a non-binding medical opinion within six months. This process does not limit, delay, or deny a plaintiff's access to the courts. Any claim can still proceed. It does not create additional cause for a patient or their family to sue a health care provider. It does not bind a jury from determining findings of fact and conclusions of law. It does not create an additional layer between a citizen and the courts. Under the current process, cases can take upwards of four years or more to litigate. Medical review panels will take six months to render an opinion. This process does add a layer of accountability for health care providers and personal injury lawyers. The medical opinion report will become the official finding from the panel and will be admissible in court. However, any member of the panel can still be called to testify in court and the opinion must be admissible in court to be effective. The medical standard of care involved must be the primary factor in determining a legal conclusion. Kentucky Chamber represents the interest of about 60,000 employers in this state and we feel like it's time for Kentucky to say enough is enough. Uh, the meritless lawsuits that are having a huge impact on health care in our state, we feel like this is a piece of common sense legislation that will bring us uh, closer to what other states have done to protect against these types of lawsuits. Uh, medical malpractice liability takes a significant financial toll on our health care providers, including nurses, doctors, hospitals, nursing homes, etc., that serve our communities. And they are increasing, the number of lawsuits are increasing the cost for consumers and it diverts critical funds away from health care. That's why we support this legislation. It's time to return the focus and resources uh, of health care where they belong on caring for patients, not fighting lawsuits. The increasing cost of civil litigation through legal fees, higher insurance premiums, defensive business practices, and reduced investment opportunities that's all a significant burden for Kentucky's health care and business communities. Medical review panels will stabilize our medical malpractice system, making the state more attractive to employers while helping to, retrain, to retain and attract quality providers. In 2012, there were 415 medical malpractice claims reported to the Department of Insurance. They're only reported to the department when they are resolved, not when they are filed. These settlements uh, total $96.3 million. The business community can no longer stand on the sidelines and ignore or honestly afford the toll that these are taking on the bottom line. You'll no doubt hear a litany of reasons as to why this is somehow bad policy. But remember the source of that howling. It's the folks, uh, the law firms that see Kentucky's health care providers as their personal ATM machines. And many of these firms are out of state firms. I think it's interesting that recently in Louisville, it was cited that while Louisville, I think, is the 37th or 38th largest media market in the state, they're one of the top media markets in the state for investments by attorneys' firms on their advertising. You know, call 1-800 and we'll sue somebody. Uh, why wouldn't they? I mean, it's like fishing in a barrel in Kentucky uh, to plant your flag and try to get some of these lawsuits rolling. Uh, the Louisville Chamber, Greater Louisville Inc., GLI, did a study a few years ago. They brought in consultants to talk about how can we be more economically competitive. They came and they identified five specific growth sectors that are available to the Louisville metro area, you know, like um, logistics, no surprise, because UPS, et cetera. But they also said health innovation and aging services. You've got, man, you've got others there where Louisville clearly sets itself apart in this area. And they said for that strategic sector to grow, you need A, B, C, D. One of those was to pursue uh, liability reform in the state of Kentucky because Kentucky has fallen behind. So for our economic development, we need to do this aside from the protections to our health care providers. I encourage you to look past the misleading rhetoric and, the, and focus on the facts. Medical review panel legislation will protect legitimate cases while weeding out meritless cases that clog our courts. No plaintiff will be denied a day in court and no person will lose any legal rights whatsoever. The independent panel provides more accountability by producing expert opinions, 
that are admissible in court. Legitimate claims against providers would be validated while meritless claims would be quickly exposed. So in conclusion, this solution is fair, simple, reasonable. I urge you to pass Senate Bill 6 to take a stand and protect all medical professionals against aggressive personal injury lawyers and meritless lawsuits that pull precious resources away from patient care. The practice of defensive medicine, as Dr. Alvarado indicated, is not good medicine. It increases costs and many times can result in testing and procedures for our patients, which is not medically necessary. But it's very difficult to practice in this climate today and not fall into that trap. While certainly not a panacea, Senate Bill 6 will make Kentucky more attractive to physicians. It will stabilize our health care environment. And the healthcare industry is a system that impacts the quality of life for all Kentuckians, as we've heard Mr. Atkinson indicate. Finally, I'd like to talk personally a little bit just about what it's like to be a physician. I've known I wanted to be a doctor since I was eight years old. I was the first in my family to graduate from college. Both sides of my family, including my wife's family, have been in Kentucky for generations. There are many times I've stayed at the bedside of an ill child, held the hand of a dying patient, left my wife at a restaurant to go to the emergency room, and just not been present in any sort of real way at family functions such as birthday parties, school plays, basketball games, and other events because I was worried about someone I had operated on or a patient who was in the hospital. But I didn't go into medicine to protect myself. I went into medicine to give of myself. I've traveled this state in various capacities over many years, and I've talked with many physicians, and with singular rare exception, I would testify to you today that I am not unique in this regard with respect to doctors. Young men and women study medicine and become physicians to serve their patients unselfishly, if not selflessly. James Bryce once said, medicine is the only profession that labors incessantly to destroy the reason for its existence. Why else would we advocate for a smoke-free Kentucky? In the end, my presence here is not even to argue how changes affect commerce, doctors, lawyers, the state, or this august body. I'm here because I believe Senate Bell 6 is best for patients and the practice of medicine as a whole.